What are invertebrates? Importance and examples of invertebrates. Most animals on this planet are invertebrates. However, most of the time spent on the study of animals in introductory courses is on the study of vertebrates. The fact is that most fundamental principles of physiology, genetics, ecology and taxonomy apply equally well to vertebrates and invertebrates. Invertebrates are a step forward from vertebrates. First is that biochemical pathways common to all living things can frequently be studied with greater ease in invertebrates. Second, a knowledge of invertebrates can simplify the selection of an organism that can be used to greater advantage in molecular biology. Third, invertebrates with small size and short life cycles are excellent organisms for investigations of population dynamics and other ecological phenomena. Fourth, perhaps, more important is, the direct effect of many invertebrates on man and his possessions. Of growing importance is the use of invertebrates in the biological control of pests, now being held in check with poisons which may accumulate in our soil and waters. Beneficial and detrimental effects of invertebrates are an important factor in modern living. Of utmost importance is the pollination of many crops by insects. Other benefits include the production of commercially valuable substances, for example, wax, honey and silk. The use of some invertebrates as food animals, service as scavengers and for aeration of the soil and an important role as intermediate forms in the food chain. Their value more than offsets the harm done as disease organisms, carriers of disease, and destroyers of food and other valuable substances. As man's utilization of space on Earth increases, knowledge of exact role of various invertebrates must increase if we are to manage our resources in a way that will not be disastrous. Molecular biology is important to and has benefited from invertebrate zoology.